I'm Bob Taft, and uh, three times a year we fire the Edgefield Groundhog Helm. Uh, it's called the Groundhog Helm because uh, basically the old ones were used, used to be dug into the sides of hills. Uh, you get a small hill, you dig in, uh, naturally lined with clay, you could put your pots in there, uh, start throwing in wood, and the clay would bake and become hard, uh, and you could use this several times. Uh, the one we've built down in Edgefield uh, contains over 3,000 bricks. Uh, it's essentially a chimney lying on its side. There's about 20 feet of space for the pots to go into. Uh, there's a front fire box that's uh, approximately five feet wide, uh, four feet deep. And uh, as we go on with the firing, we start throwing in slats of pine. Uh, pine, uh, very thin slats. When we get up to temperature, uh, this pine just flashes over. I mean, it's in there. There's a lot of surface area. We're, we're basically trying to uh, release as much energy from the wood as possible. Uh, in a lot of wood fire kilns, people go for uh, a long firing, try to get a big ash buildup. Uh, our style of firing, we want to uh, get as hot as possible, uh, as quickly as possible. So uh, it becomes basically a zombie walk uh, as we uh, continually rotate around, grab wood, bring it up to the front of the kiln, put it in. By the time you get back again, the wood you put in is already flashed over and gone. Uh, the old time glazes that we use uh, are reminiscent of the Edgefield Alkaline Stoneware Glazes. Uh, you get these nice uh, greens, uh, basically from iron content that's in the uh, glazes. Um, the uh, kiln itself uh, takes us about 8 hours to 12 hours to fire. Then we have to wait uh, at least uh, four more days for it to cool down. We finally unbrick the opening. Uh, we get in there, there's still some embers glowing in the firebox. Uh, getting on the wear bed, you can only stay in there for a little bit as we're handing out still hot or warm pottery. Uh, and you never know what you have until it's, uh, it's finally out in, in somebody's hands. I mean, sometimes you have a beautiful pot that's stuck to something so it doesn't survive and other times you get something that uh, you didn't think was going to be uh, that good and it turns out uh, wonderful just because of the spot it was in the kiln uh, I just got the right amount of heat uh, I had a, a double a little devil jug that came out uh, so wonderfully red uh, and it's, it's just amazing what you can get and but the thing is, you never know until you actually pull them out, and that's uh, uh, one of the more exciting aspects. And people can see that uh, on Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Uh, they can actually handle the pots and uh, feel the heat uh, that uh, we've managed to put into them.